Hey amigos, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're having a wonderful cheeky ch uh, Thursday, not Tuesday. Um, today we're going to be doing ourselves a delightful um, bayou pork buns. Uh, so we're going to do sweet and sour pork. Um, so I've got some nice little two little fillets of pork. Uh, so we're going to make the sweet and sour sauce. We're also going to marinate them. Um, we're going to char grill them and then just coat them nicely into the sauce. And um, then we're going to chop it up and also going to make those beautiful berry buns as well open. Uh, we're going to have some pickle, Asian Asian pickle uh, cucumber, some uh, pickle cabbage. We're also going to have a little touch of salad in there as well, uh, just to kind of finish it off. And uh, some sriracha tofu sauce as well to, to finish it off, because I've got some tofu to use up. So uh, we're going to do that. Buns. Let's make a start on the old cheeky buns. So um, I'm not going to make too much. I'm not going to make in like, loads and loads of uh, bread dough. So... Um, I'm going to do about 250 grams of bread flour, 30 ml of oil, 6 grams of salt, uh, about 10 grams of sugar, uh, 3 teaspoons of yeast, yeah, that should, that should be fine, so we're using dried yeast, if you want to use fresh, uh, you can do if you want, so 250 grams of bread flour, 30 ml of oil, because we want the fat content to make it nice and soft, 6 grams of uh, cheeky salt as well, so... I'm guessing about roughly a dessert spoon. That's about six. So, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, I'd say a, a dessert spoon and a half. Um, okay, so, uh, sugar's done, salt, flour, oil, perfect. So, now just the water and the yeast. Uh, I'm just going to give that a little mi mix up now. The reason why, why are you going to mix it up for, Chef? Um, reason for it, if you have a little bit of concentrated salt in one area, potentially you could actually kill off the yeast so just by incorporating and mixing it up it's not going to happen so I'm just giving that a little mix up so the salt isn't in one concentrated place the the temperature you're looking for for the water you want pretty much about uh, 35 celsius or is it 95 fahrenheit i believe if my uh, calculations are correct um, for the temperature, for optimum. You can go up to 40, but just carefully don't go too far over because you could potentially kill the yeast. So I find about 35 is a good optimum temperature for for my yeast. Around about 170, 160. I believe 160. Let's have a look. So if I need more, that's fine. We can, uh, we can sort that out. So I want three teaspoons, which I'm guessing is going to be probably the rest of this packet because I usually consume of consist of uh, about four teaspoons and I'm pretty sure I've just taken one out of this not two so now some people like to add the sugar to here or maybe a little touch of the flour just to kind of get the yeast going which is you know it, it works absolutely wonderful this is the, just my way of doing it um, so there's so many different ways that people like to do it um, to be honest with you I don't really have any trouble with it starting or activating doing it this way um, so whichever you, you you know you're happy happy with Now this might be on a little bit on the wet side, so but we'll see. If I need to add a little touch more flour, so maybe it was 150. So I did two, yeah, I suppose. Could add a little touch more flour to this. Right, let's give this a little bit of a, a good old knead. Boop. So it's ready to go. So I'm going to cling film that. Uh, we're going to put that into my warm room. Uh, we're going to let that proof. So I'll be back now. Two seconds, amigos. Uh, and we're going to get the, the steaks out. So a little bit of ginger and garlic just to marinate them. So uh, don't want to go too crazy. I'm probably going to go for one clove of garlic and about a teaspoon of ginger. got plenty of ginger in the, in the fridge. Right, so also make sure you take that off the top. What's that? So that's the ginger. It can be a little bit sinewy and almost like very tough to eat. You don't want to be putting that in there, so that wasn't grated through. So um, sometimes with ginger, you can get it a little bit woody or tough. So you know, just want to leave that out. It's my pork. Do I want a little touch of? No, 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 no. Just just the garlic and the and the ginger. So we're just going to give this a mix round. So let's do the pickles next. I feel that will be uh, will be good. So you want them a little bit thick, so you got a bit of crunch when you uh, bite into that little open bayo bun. So, uh, be very nice. Gonna need about one, two, 
three tablespoons of rice vinegar. Not not rice vinegar, rice vinegar. <laughs> um, also going to have some toasted sesame seed oil in here as well. So we're going to go for about half a teaspoon. We don't want to go too crazy with this. So, um, Oh, I do need to salt it as well. So just a little bit of seasoning in there, which actually help. I should have done it beforehand, but that's okay. It'll be fine. So don't go too crazy with the salt. Just a nice little pinch in there. Right, about a teaspoon. I'd say about a teaspoon and a half of uh, honey. Um, we're just going to give this a nice little mix up now. Yeah, shall I put this? I'm going to put this into a larger bowl just to make life a little bit more easier for me. <coughs> Smells fantastic. So we've got a little touch of the sesame seed. Um, we've got salt in there, rice vinegar. Absolutely beautiful. Right, so we're going to dice this down into like a. I want a kind of a short strand because they're going inside the bayo buns. I don't want like really long strands like kind of hanging out. So uh, I'm just going to do this into short, short strands. So I'm just basically taking a few layers, cutting it in half, stacking it, and then slicing it. Right, so I'm going to slice this up. Um, you could cut these into like long little kind of julienne if you wanted to, uh, to go in there. I'm just going to put some nice little bit of scallions or sliced up uh, spring onions, if you want to call it that. Don't need to go too bonkers with this. Let's get the uh, blender out and we'll start blending up that tofu. So if you're looking for like more of a healthier, healthier kind of um, mayonnaise, then, you know, tofu is a great alternative and it's actually pretty good for you. The uh, reason why I want to get extra firm now, a lot of like mayonnaise is like to use silk and tofu, which, yeah, it's great. It comes out on a lovely consistency. The only issue with it is you can't use a lot of um, liquid liquid flavors. So like using the sriracha, it might make it far too thin and you'll end up with a really like kind of sloppy mayonnaise, which won't be very good. Whereas this one, you can add liquid to it and get it to the right consistency. So, um, you know, you can, you got more to play around with it, if that makes sense. Right, so rice vinegar. So I'm gonna go for about two. There's one, two tablespoons. Also want a bit of sweetness, so about a teaspoon of honey. I might need to add a little touch more, we'll see. Usually go for two teaspoons. Also want a little touch of garlic. Now go easy on the raw garlic because it's not being cooked out. Um, so that garlic flavor will develop very over time. But if you, well, wrong ones. If you add too much, you sometimes might end up with like a burning sensation, which is pretty unpleasant. So I'm only gonna use about a quarter of a clove. Quite literally, that much is all we're going to need, so just a very small amount in there. I'm going to go for a tablespoon to begin with. That might seem a lot, but uh, we'll see how that pans out very nicely. Also, I forgot to add mustard as well, just a little touch of mustard, so uh, two teaspoons of mustard. One, two, there we go. All right, I'm going to have a little touch of pepper and obviously going to need seasoning as well. Oh, that tofu mayo is beautiful. That sriracha tofu mayo. It's got a nice kick, got a nice spice to it. Um, the garlic in there, the little bit of tanginess like you'd get, expect from a mayonnaise. So there's that beautiful dough. As you can see, it's enlarged up very, very nicely. It never looks that big when it's smaller. When I do the 500 grams, it's, it's so much bigger, but oh yes, it, it certainly has been proven. It's nice and smooth. So I'm just gonna knock it back. Reckon that maybe a little touch big. I don't want to go too big with it because it's going to proof anyway. So I feel like that should be good. Just want to make sure we get this right. I have too much of a big lip there. So yeah, that'll be nice. And we're going to let them proof for a little touch. So right, there's two ways to stop this from sticking when you fold it over. You can either use oil or parchment paper. So. I'm probably going to use a little touch of oil. Yeah. I'm going to let them proof. Um, so I'll stick them in the back. Yeah, I'm going to stick them in the back. Not for too long. Actually, to be honest with you, I might just leave them here. So I don't want them to proof too much. Otherwise, they're going to end up too big. So by the time I've made the uh, the sauce and that, the sweet and sour sauce will be ready to uh, steam the buns. So, Right, let me have a clean up, wash up. Uh, so I want 60 ml of rice vinegar. Uh, so I want one tablespoon of soy, um, and I want about 60 grams of honey. 
yeah, 60 grams of honey. So about a tablespoon. Actually, I might put this uh, honey in the pan because I might get stuck at the bottom. So what I'll do instead, put that straight in the pan. Saves me having to scrape it. Half a garlic clove will be perfect. And I got a little touch of ginger in the fridge. So we've got the honey, water, uh, rice vinegar, uh, garlic and ginger. So I'm just going to drop that straight in because we're going to cook that right out. Um, same with the, the liquid. So I'm just going to bring that up to a simmer. Um, and I also wanted a little touch of ketchup to it. I'm going to add it once the uh, si uh, honey is kind of pretty much dissolved in there. No, I'll add it now. It's okay. It's not going to split. I'm going to go for about two tablespoons. One, two. So I'm going to put this onto a stove. Uh, so I'm going to put this onto a a medium heat to kind of cook down. It's going to get a little small whisk and just whisk that up very nicely. So I'm just going to let that kind of cook out a little bit. And then we're just going to thicken it with a little touch of cornstarch. I don't want to make too much um, sweet and sour sauce. reason for it is just because it's just for a glaze more than anything. Let's get my char griller. Uh, we're gonna add a little touch of uh, cornstarch to the uh, to the mix because oh, Gordon Bennett, just a very small smidge, just to begin with, just to help thicken this up. Okay, so six in, and then we'll do two, four, six, well seven. I'll squeeze another one in there. So, so anyway, this is gonna go on. I think they're gonna take about fifteen to twenty minutes. So uh, I should put a timer on. Um, also, I want to turn my oven on for the pork. So 350 Fahrenheit, 180 Celsius. So I'm going to start char grilling these beautiful pork steaks off. So this is going to be about, I'd say about 10, 20 minutes in the oven. You don't want to cook it too long. You don't want it to be uh, overcooked. So, right. Very nice. Are they ready? Yeah, they're bouncing back. They're good. Beautiful. Very, very nice indeed. And I didn't want to make them too big. Maybe I could have done with making them a little bigger, but they're like almost like mini ones. So, there we go. Bit of the uh, tofu sriracha that we made today. So, mayonnaise. But actually more of a healthier mayonnaise more than anything, so which is really nice. Oh, I want it to be a bit longer. There we go. Goodness me, that is so moist. Very nice indeed. So, uh, let's have a little bit more of that glaze. I'm not going too crazy with it. begin with. I'm not too crazy with this. And obviously that beautiful glazed meat as well from the pork. me. A little bit of scallions on there. Or spring onions if you want to call it spring onions. Thank you timer. No messing about today. Mm. Is that going to hold? I don't think it will. There we go. Put a little bit of pickles here and there. A little bit of just cabbage, just to kind of you know finish it off. A little touch.
Um, so we made the steam buns, um, which we made the bread dough, kneaded it, let it proof. We knocked it back, cut it down, uh, folded them, just a little bit of oil to hold them together or to not hold them together, but to stop them from sticking. Um, or you could use parchment paper. And then we steamed them for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, the pork we marinated in garlic and ginger, char grilled it, um, finished it off in the oven just for about 10, 15, not too long. And then um, we also made a quick little sweet and sour sauce, um, which basically consists of garlic, ginger, um, a little touch of ketchup, water, rice vinegar. I used honey instead of sugar, but you can use whichever. Um, and a little touch of soy. Yeah, that's right. Um, and then we cooked that down and then thickened it up with cornstarch just very lightly. Um, we also made a tofu sriracha as well. So sriracha, mustard, the tofu itself, uh, rice vinegar, um, a little touch of honey as well in there, a little, very small amount of garlic. So grated about a quarter of clove of garlic in there. Um, what else do we have in there? I think that was about it. And then blended it down, just a little touch of water. Uh, we had some Asian pickled cucumbers. Um, so pretty much rice vinegar, sesame seed oil, very small amount, a little touch of honey as well. Or do we use sugar? I think we used honey in the end, didn't we? I think so. Um, and then a few sesame seeds and just let it marinate for a few hours. Um, and then just cabbage sliced, nothing too fancy, no, no pickling, and a little bit of uh, spring onions and scallions. So yeah, have a great rest of your Thursday. Much loves, and I'll see you for that cheeky, more pork tomorrow. So uh, anyway, much loves and uh, bye for now, amigos.